Hello, my name is Glenn Hall. Today is May 8th, 2021. And today's video concerns the time that we live in today. We have entered the day of the Lord. It begins as a day of darkness. It begins as a day of trouble. This, again, is fulfillment of a parable. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the day began with evening. Evening begins the darkness, begins the nighttime. We have entered the millennial day, but it begins in evening. It is a day of darkness to begin with. And we are seeing the darkness now. If you don't see the darkness, if you don't understand the time that we live in, it's because you don't have spiritual eyes to see or spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. This is a time for you to gather as much oil as you can, to gather as much Holy Spirit as you can, to fill yourself with as much word as you can with the word of God. There are countless deceiving spirits going forth today, deceiving the world, deceiving everyone. Why is everyone taking the jab? That's the reason, the main reason I'm doing this video today. What's happening with people who have taken the jab and those who are around them is horrifying. Luke tells us in chapter 21 that at this time men's hearts will melt with fear. And I can see why. Because if you do not have a steadfast trust in God right now, you should be afraid. You should be very afraid. But I'm not making this video to put fear into your heart. In fact, it's just the opposite of that. What I intend to do today is to bring confidence to you. I'm going to put a link in this video to a new video, video by SGT Report. And it is sobering, to say the least. But many of us have heard a lot of the things that are coming forth in this particular video. But this is perhaps the most sobering I've heard concerning how the jab is affecting everyone. But it will not affect us. It will not affect us who are walking in faith who are walking according to the way of the Lord. So what I want to do is read to you Psalm 91. Psalm 91, hold on to it. Hold on to it in faith and trust that God will fulfill this in your life. And so it begins. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to Yahuwah, to my Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, my Elohim, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you, that is Yahuwah, our God, will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. That's what we face today. The fowler is trying to trap us. The fowler is trying to kill us. The deadly pestilence is upon us. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. Another word you can use for faithfulness is truth. His truth is a shield and a buckler. 
put this on, this psalm upon you as truth. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. You will not fear the transmission, the shedding of the night, nor the jab that flies by day, nor the pestilence nor the unseen enemy that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side. Yes, a thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand may fall at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Understand that God is protecting his people now. That what we are seeing is judgment beginning to come upon the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague will be allowed to come near your tent. No plague will be allowed to come near your dwelling your tabernacle, your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Remember Jesus quoted that to Satan when he was being tempted. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. And then the psalm ends with God speaking. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Do you know his name? Do you know the name of Yahuwah? of our God, it's Yeshua, it's Jesus, Jesus, Yeshua, Joshua, Yahshua. He is God. He is our Lord, our Savior. He is the one who will protect us. And I fully expect that he will protect me, protect my family, protect my loved ones, and protect you who call upon his name. Father, in the name of Yeshua, your son, I pray that you will protect all of us from this deadly pestilence who call upon your name, who love you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen.